Hello, this is David, and in this video I'm going to show you the uh, tuck stitch which gives the back of the knitting some character. Now, it doesn't show up terribly well on this high vis wool that I'm using, but the wool itself shows up very well. So I'm going to show you, and it will just give a little character to the back of the knitting. That's a simple chevron. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So you'll need to have your edge weights on. So we, you would have a pattern. I'm just going to do a really simple one. I'm going to select needle number 11, needle number 5 on the right hand side. And then I'm just going to do number 2 and number 7 on the left hand side. And I'm just going to knit two rows. Um, sorry about that. I just these tripods can be as much trouble as assistance. Squeaky needles. I think my nephew's been on this machine and spilt coffee on it and not said anything. I'll have to clean it. So now you need to pull down on the knitting and now we're going to push this needle back to forward working position taking care the latch remains open and slide the one next to it into holding position and repeat across the bed. So that one goes back and that one comes out. So you've got one in forward working position the one immediately before it is in the holding position. Now we knit across the row again and this time we need to be careful because we're asking rather a lot of it. And back. pull down on your knitting so that goes to forward working position taking care the latch remains open and that goes to hold so one back to forward or half knit as forward working position is also known as so that one goes back to forward working position that one comes out to holding position and the same again and this is all you do now you, you would follow a pattern, so we knit another two rows, we knit this row carefully and back pull down on the cast on hemp so that one is going to go back to the forward working or half knit position that's coming out to the holding position that's going back got it that's the squeaky needle that one in hold forward working position hold forward working position hold and we knit carefully across the row now I'm saying knit carefully across the row because the carriage skips over holding needles and right next to it you've got a needle in the forward working position so just gently push down a little harder on the carriage now you just go back at your regular knitting speed so now what I'll do now is I'll finish this I'll just put all these back to forward working position and just knit a few rows bring these edge weights up and um, you really can't see on the um, knitting while it's on the machine but what would have been great with these classic and classic plus machines would have been a needle selector that would have made the pattern an absolute whiz
I'll just knit a couple of flares. And that is your tuck stitch. Try it out and have some fun. Thank you for watching.